this project was looking at studying the effects of artificial infrastructure on the environment, in particular the ocean. So the focus was on decommissioned offshore oil and gas infrastructure. And our project in particular looked at environmentally friendly, scalable ways of monitoring those types of infrastructure. We developed a system called Biogam. So it's a system that consists of multiple cameras, multiple lasers, and is mounted on an autonomous underwater vehicle that was used to take photos and take high resolution scans of the underwater terrain. The, the resolution is high enough that we can see things like individual fish, crabs, and enemies, anything that might be on the seafloor. We can discover what kind of ecology lives out in these environments using our technology. The operational team were located in Southampton, several thousands of kilometers away, and we were able to communicate with the robot over, over satellites. Normally, if we go out to monitor infrastructure, we deploy robots, but we deploy them from ships that go out on site. This was different in that we didn't use a ship to go out to see the robot equipped with our cameras was deployed from shore and traveled several thousands of kilometers in order to gather the data that we collected. Whether we're talking about driverless cars or robotic vacuum cleaners, autonomous systems typically operate for several hours to half a day, whereas this was 21 days of continuous operation, which means you have to have a very high level of confidence in the technology, but also in the teams that are managing that technology. Although this was a relatively short period of time to get the system out working in the field, it's taken many years of collaboration between University of Southampton National Oceanography Centre. The key point is that this is a very low cost and environmentally friendly way of monitoring the seafloor. That also means it's very scalable. It means that we can deploy a large number of these kinds of systems to do similar surveys.